Did you know that number lines are used to locate, compare, and order a set of integers and rational numbers? In this video, we will be learning how to locate, compare, and order integers and rational numbers using a number line. Last lesson, we learned how to classify numbers. In this lesson, we will learn how to compare and order integers and rational numbers using a number line. If we look at zero on a number line, as we move to the right, our numbers become infinitely larger. We can add a couple of positive numbers to our number line to represent this. As we move to the left of zero, we have negative numbers that are also counting, but that become infinitely smaller in value. For example, negative one is greater in value than negative four. The closer a negative number is to zero on a number line, the greater its value. So how about fractions and decimals? Well, fractions and decimals are found in between whole numbers and integers. For example, let's say we were asked to compare the following numbers. One and one fourth, three, negative one, and negative two and five tenths. We can compare all numbers by placing them on a number line. We can start by placing our integers on a number line. Positive three is three units to the right of zero. Negative one is one unit to the left of zero. That leaves the number one and one fourth and negative two and five tenths. One and one fourth tells us we need to move one unit and a fractional part that represents one fourth to the right of one. Our number should be somewhere in between one and two. If we look at the denominator in the fraction one fourth, this tells us that the whole between one and two needs to be divided into four equal parts. The equal parts are not represented by the lines, but rather by the spaces between the lines. We should have four equal spaces between one and two. Now that we have divided our whole into fourths, each line represents one fourth. We can now represent the mixed number one whole and one fourth. That leaves the number negative two and five tenths. We know that negative two and five tenths is in between negative two and three. To represent the integer negative two, we can move two whole units to the left. We know that five tenths is equal to one half. Since we have a denominator of two in the fraction one half, I will partition our whole into two equal parts. I can now move half a unit to the left to represent negative two and a half. Since I have two holes and my number is negative, I moved two units to the left of zero and an additional one half that represents the five tenths. Now that I have plotted all numbers on our number line, I can place them in order from least to greatest by starting with the numbers that are furthest to the left and moving to the right. In order from least to greatest, we have negative two and five tenths, negative one, positive one and one fourth, and then three. If you're looking to master various concepts in math and science, go ahead and subscribe to your channel. So make sure you're not missing out on any future content.